Diamond remover. Let's see. There's a mega scope. Do we have crystals for it? Crystals. Should mount them in the mega scope. Missing two crystals. Of course I'm missing crystals. This one. Intriguing as machinery goes, but how do I start it up? No, there's a guy in there. Guessing this man didn't come here willingly. Why? Because his hands are tied behind his back. Maybe he's just into that. Empty. Wonder who was kept in here. Quite the library. Mostly tomes on mutations and genetics. Is that it over there? Yep. Boop. Just need to pick an entry. Uh, I don't know what that's referring to. Let's do the first entry. Oh, is it like a journal entry? The 18th of Yule, year 1102. It's Doctor Strange. Today I begin my great life's endeavor. One greater and more significant than any I have thus far undertaken. For it relates to me personally. To myself and my son. When 15 years passed, a beast of the forest assaulted me. A witcher came to my aid, saved my life. I could not know that for said salvation, I would in the end pay by relinquishing any say as to my own son's fate. Had I the skill to turn back time, I would have done so, and perished rather than surrender to the witchers my only son. But as it was, on the day when Jerome was taken, I swore an oath on my honor that I would recover my son. Today, following years of research and preparation, I have at last devised a device that allows me to study mutations. If the gods in their goodness grant me but a bit of favor, I shall find a way to reverse said mutations and restore Jerome to a normal life. Again, I guess it didn't work. So, or it did work, wasn't out to and his son was dead by the time he figured it out. Wanted to reverse them. Wonder if he managed, and if there's anything the in it for me. Go number two. Observation 22. Despite applying a surfeit of toxic substances, significantly more than usual, the subject displayed no symptoms of overdosing. I believe this to be an effect of the mutations. Thus, a minor success. This mutation should allow Jerome better to I like that toxicity. one. Some more decoctions make me way more powerful because of my build. Observation number 30. The mutations do not set in at once. Curiously, they do not develop over a span of time. Rather, for a mutation to progress towards completion, the appropriate mutagen must be applied continuously. The subject does not bear this well, but I found a way to make the mutations less taxing, invasive. To the mutagen base, I add the albumin of a mutated giant centipede egg. Stored in the glass terrarium, the eggs do not develop, remain small. Did this guy kidnap a witcher to do all these tests on? Is that who that guy in the jar is? Mutated they are. Luminescent, emitting a wondrous glow. I can only hope my addition of the albumen will produce no significant side effects. Time will tell. Alright, let's play four. Observation number 31. 
Observation 58. Sometimes failure is the catalyst for success. I've discovered a method by which one type of mutagen may be transmuted into another through the addition of certain ingredients. This is a great day for science. In addition, I observed that today's dose of mutagens brought the subject to the brink of death. He then suddenly awoke, revived, his strength renewed. Not wholly, of course, but he did in a sense come back from the edge of death. Whether this is attributable to his mutations or to pure coincidence cannot be ascertained. I must conduct further experiments. Years of experiments, research, sacrifice, all for naught. I have failed to achieve my defined objective. Each mutation I applied to my subjects proved ineffective when applied to Jerome. What I meant to cure him of his witcherism, that which I meant to restore to him a normal life, only deepened his mutations further augmented his speed and strength, rendered him yet more inhuman. It seems my son must remain a witcher forever. I have failed. The time has come to abandon this place. Return home to Lydia. She may yet deign to take me back. The contraption and mutagens I leave here. Let them wither and crumble. As did my dreams of regaining my son. All right. Hmm. So the professor wanted to reverse the mutation's effects. Ended up deepening them. A stroke of luck for me. Could profit from his failure. Let's summarize. So, professor tried to neutralize the effects of Witcher mutations. Only managed to enhance them, though. Used the albumens of giant centipede eggs as his mutagen base. Need to go on an egg hunt. <laughs> Guessing this man didn't come here willingly. Yeah, that's just a test subject. Intriguing as machinery goes. And how do I start it up? Looks like a, a weird vertical bath. All right. Um, guess I'll break through this wall and look for centipedes. Oh, hello. It's really a stroke of luck that the exact thing he needed lived, like, right next door.
Need your eggs. Mendables. Greater red mutagens, like right off the bat, which is pretty great. Alright, this. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna. thing. Place the mutated giant centipede Albion in the contraption and start the machinery. How do I start the machinery? Oh. Let's climb in. That seems safe to administer this to yourself. No point going machine wearing a full gear and how do I start to drop my armor leave my weapons? Okay. Get naked. Can't get naked. Wait, come on. Get, get, get naked. I'm gonna drop this. Can I wear my ass ears? All right, should be good. Professor's mutagens might work on me as they did on his son. Well, time to find out. the ass ears get fused to my head. Alright. Mutation system. Interesting. So I can't do that one. This is kind of, toxic blood is kind of my bread and butter, I think. Damage dealt by swords. Yeah, see, each point of toxicity increases my damage. Uh, that's really good for me. That too, because my build also is all about increasing my adrenaline as fast as possible. So this is the best. And this is good. So I can activate. Only one can be active. Okay. So that's good. The strengthened synapses mutation improves automatically as you develop other mutations as it as you do it unlocks additional ability slots. Does 
see what mutation is currently active, open the mutation panel or the character panel. Strength and synapses mutation improves automatically when you develop the mutations as it does unlock additional abilities. So, okay, they said that already. Uh, thanks to the strength and synapses, you can have one. That's actually really good. That makes me even more OP. <laughs> cool. I'm not entirely sure how to best take advantage of that, but I'm looking forward to trying. Um, I hmm. The power cell for portals. Feels dead. Maybe a sign will revive it. Well, yeah, man. Uh, I guess I'll put my clothes on. I want to see how much damage I can do now. I'm sure it's way more... I'm also interested to know if uh, decoctions count for the toxicity towards that ability. I assume it would. 